Hi friends. So for today's take home kit, we're going to be making salt crystals. This does involve using the stove and um, heat. So um, please get the permission of an adult or work with an adult while you are putting this together. Um, in a minute, we will go through your bag and see what you've got for your take home kit. All right, let's check into our bag and see what we have in our take out kit this week. A plastic jar, clear. A pipe cleaner and what is a string and then the other materials you'll need are water salt and a pencil okay so I have two cups of water in my pan and I'm going to heat it on high uh, till it starts bubbling and then we were going to slowly add our salt in Okay, so while we wait for our water to boil, we are gonna work on making our snowflake out of our pipe cleaner. So I'm gonna cut my pipe cleaner in to three pieces. Okay, I'm going to take those first two pieces, make an X and twist it around. Then I'm gonna take my second, my third piece and I'm gonna put it across the middle and twist that around so that I have six points to my snowflake. Pipe cleaners get a little wonky. We all know that know this. Then you can shape your snowflake however you like it. So if you want to do more cuts to make more um, ends to your snowflake, you can. If you uh, want to leave it with the six points, you can. Um, it's a snowflake. They're all different. So make yours special to you. All right, and then once you've, you're done shaping, I'm just gonna put mine aside and wait for it for after the water is all boiled. All right. All right, so our water is coming to a gentle bubble. I'm gonna start adding in the salt slowly, little bits at a time, and letting it fully dissolve in the water before adding any more. Okay, so I've added about a little over half a cup of water of salt into our water. I've turned off the heat and now I'm going to very, very carefully transfer the hot water uh, into our clear jar before we suspend our snowflake in it. Okay, so our hot salt water is in the jar. It doesn't have to be hot. You can let it cool. It doesn't really matter. Um, but some of the extra salt crystals have um, floated to the bottom or to the top, which is fine. I am going to lower my snowflake into the water and rest the pencil on top. It'll Don't take it out for two to three days, but because it's clear, you'll be able to see the salt crystals growing on your snowflake. Okay, here's our finished product. This has been in the water for about a day and a half, two days. Uh, as you can see, there are white salt crystals growing on the outside of our snowflake. Yours might have grown bigger. They might not have grown as fast. It, all depends. Not all um, experiments will take the same amount of time. I hope you've enjoyed making salt crystals together. Bye!